Hi, I'm here with Platinum Asset Management's CEO, Care Nelson. I wanted to ask you, Care, about Australian dollars mm. and when the right time will be to start hedging back into Australian yes. currency. It always feels like um, you know it's going to have a bounce, and the trouble is, our sense is that we're in a downward tendency. Mm. So our terms of trade have deteriorated now for a couple of years. So that means that the value of our exports are um, no longer rising relative to our imports. Mm. And unlike the earlier period, now our import costs are tending to go up because the, you know, they were in a big deflationary spiral mm. for a while. And that's reversing. So there are two things happening. Not only are the price of our exports uh, not doing what they used to do, mm. uh, rising, they're no longer doing that, they're coming down, but so are our imports going up a bit in mm. price. So we're in that quandary. My feeling is that the Australian dollar is in a downward tendency. If we got some good news out of growth in China, which doesn't look imminent because still they're holding to this official forecast of 7% or thereabouts, and we think the economy is growing much slower. Mm. So um, it is a bit of a waiting game, and I think we can test um, into the high 60s before we mm. really start but, you know, putting numbers in it. There is a fair bit of no negative view on the Aussie, but I still sense that a lot of Australians haven't really moved a lot of money offshore. Mm. It's interesting because I think Ross Garner mm -hmm. made some sort of outrageous suggestion that it could get to 30 cents. Do you think there's any validity in that? Well, it's, it's always good to be on, in a, a complete panic merchant because <laughs> you no, get one, in the paper. no one will ever forget what yeah. you say. And by the time you know they remember again, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't know why he put it quite as low as that, yeah. but it could be, it could be quite weak mm. because the tendencies of currencies is to have a long cycle. They don't tend to just mm. move within two years, and basically Aussie has been going down for two and a half mm. years. And if you look at the U.S. dollar, which people tend to focus on, you know, the bilateral rate, um, we've been going down. But if you look at our value against the yen and the euro, we haven't gone down much. Mm. So against a trade-weighted basis, the Aussie is weak, but it's not been a shocker. Mm. And all the Asian currencies, other than the Rimbi, have gone down and weakened against the US dollar. So I think, I think we can go lower just on the way the world works. Mm, okay. It's an impossible. <laughs> it's a it's a guess. Yeah. And um, I'm glad we haven't owned an Australian mm. dollar since 101, mm. which was just around budget time mm. two years ago. And um, you're always waiting for a bounce. But I think if you haven't got any money offshore, then I think you need to make some adjustment now hoping for a bounce and then do some more, but I don't think you want to keep deferring because you're waiting for the bounce. No, okay. Yeah. Well, that's very helpful. Thanks okay. very much. Thanks.